Hello, my name is Shaley Forsyth, another member of the Train Control Systems family, and I'd like to demonstrate and explain the new operations mode found in the WOW sound decoders. Typically, when you pick up a handheld, the throttle is your only method of controlling your locomotive speed. But this is not prototypical. Locomotives and trains weighing thousands of pounds cannot stop and start in several scale feet. While out on our recording trips, we had the pleasure of riding in cabs, watching engineer and brakeman crews work, and even got to run a locomotive. To give you, the modeler, the most realistic experience, we at TCS created the prototype throttle feature, which makes this a little more like operating this. To that end, we have evolved from traditional, or as we call it, slot car operation, to the more realistic prototype operation found in the WOW sound decoder. In prototype operation mode, the first thing you will notice is that the acceleration and deceleration time have been significantly increased to reflect the power to weight ratio of the real thing. This change requires a model engineer to plan their speed changes and operate their locomotive like it weighs thousands of pounds and not a few ounces. The chuff response is also more prototypical. For instance, when you shut off the throttle and coast, the chuffs shut off and the snifter valves open up. Push the throttle in to decelerate and the chuffs will quiet down and you'll hear some rod clank. Pull back on the throttle and the locomotive accelerates with a loud bark. Get up to speed and the chuffs fade away to a cruising volume, just like a real engine. The second feature we have added to make prototype operations even more engaging is brake application and release. By default, button 7 will apply the brakes at a rate of 20% braking power per press, and button 6 will release the brake. This means you now have the ability to be running your locomotive. Pull back on the throttle so the locomotive is coasting, and then apply brakes to bring your locomotive to a perfect stop. And of course, this is all supported with corresponding sounds, including rod clank, snifters when coasting, and brake squeal and grind while slowing and stopping. So let's try a simple operational movement so you can see just how well the WOW sound mimics real life operations. For this example, I will demonstrate the locomotive accelerating up to speed. Then shut off the throttle to coast. Then finally using the brake to come to a stop. Now, it may take some time to get used to the braking times of your various locomotives. But as any engineer knows, operating a train is a learning process that rewards practice. For those of you looking to use slot car operations, you can make that change by setting the momentum CVs, CVs 3 and 4, to lower values. But I would encourage you to give prototype operation a try and see how you perform as a real engineer. Thanks for watching this video on prototype operation. Visit our website at www.tcsdcc.com for more information on the WOW sound operations and features. And while you're on our site, sign up for our newsletter to give the most up-to-date information on TCS products.